Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Bo Bichette, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about set to go on the hill here today, you say Kikuchi. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Ready to go. Mookie Betts will get us started. And a pitch. And that one ripped to left. And there's one down. Time now for Dave Roberts lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Mookie Betts. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy's always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. 2 0. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Connor Falefa, and they get oh. Otani for the out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly, and now the Blue Jays will get their initial. Back here in Rogers Center, and on the hill, Tyler Glass now. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, an incredible mountain presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, blowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. stands in here, takes ball one low. Ripped on the ground a second, slings the first, and here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Bull Bichette up to the dish. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in oh, that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. And it's strike two. He's looking pretty sharp One to start ball. the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. That's Next ball. offering is down low. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Glass now. Ready and deals. Slider misses outside. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Blue Jays go down in order. We played an inning. No score. And we're back. Second inning set to go. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. And he swings through that one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Swing and a miss. 
slider right there. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. The Dodgers strike first. It's 1 0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. is power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win with well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here here's Teoscar Hernandez good power not great in the OBP department Rip towards third. Clement He's over out. to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ground ball right side. Fires over oh. to Guerrero. That's the second out. Two outs, base is empty. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And George makes the grab. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, Justin Turner. So here's an interesting note on Glass now. He's been known to look at photos of people he doesn't like before the starts. It's a way for him to kind of get angry, and then he carries that anger out to the mound to help him pitch. Sounds like a good strategy to me, but I wonder who he's looking at. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence good. here. Pretty no simple left. in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Now the left fielder. And ball the first one, pitch no misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball Eight. for some pitchers. Next offering is in for a strike. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Right through there. Got him. Two out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this that offense is going to have to do something to try and break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Hernandez makes the grab on the run. New inning getting started. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And here it comes. Bichette. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Now at the plate, Austin Barnes. In the air, out towards left center. He's there. He's got it. Two away. Here's Mookie to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to third. Clement oh. over to first. And that is that. As we go to the last of the third. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsha. The right-hander back to work. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Varsha hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. One ball, one strike. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. 
Hard hit, right side. Throw on to Freeman. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. The Jays down by a run here in the last half of the third. That's in there. One down, base is empty. Bows it off, still one and two. The pitch. And down on strikes. Another strikeout for Glass now. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch patience. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. Man. As a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Isaiah kiner Falefa up to the plate. That one's in there. That's strike one. Two out spaces empty. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Back now in Toronto. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Shohei Otani. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Freeman batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Otani around second, headed for third. The relay, not in time. And we've got runners at first and third to open the inning. Here comes Max Muncy. He's already homered in this game. That one is absolutely belted. And that should be extra bases. One run across, around third. The relay to the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's three zip. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Now a chance for him. Chopped to the left side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Man at second. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. And that one's gone. He'll circle the bases, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-zip. The wind didn't hurt the chances of that ball getting out of here, that's for sure. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And here is James Outman. And a base hit right there. Just kind of sliced that one into center. And next for L.A., Chris Taylor. Struck right field. Springer drop step going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And there's a hit. Out Round second on his way to third. Coming home. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. Showed a willingness to drive. Brendan Little gets handed the rock out of the pen. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time 
you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Rojas stands at first with one out. The sliding play at short. Over to second for one. And that's good work out of the pen. One batter, two outs. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the fourth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. And the pitch. And yeah, that skips into dirt. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Well, these Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Close nope, one doesn't get the call. Mm -hmm. And the count is three and one. And it's fouled away. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And they'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, you got a great back and forth in that at bat. They can lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Bogey found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Guerrero in the box now. No balls and a strike. And That's it's one ball. and one. This guy who grew up in big ball, league clubhouses, break. gotta be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. Runner at first with no outs here. Yeah, and beyond that, all the other men in those clubhouses. Is a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Down. His fourth home run of the season. It's 6-2. Man, he looks like his dad out there hitting home runs. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And now, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Digging in, Bulbashet struck out swinging his first time. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Here's Turner now. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gets it to first. Turner is out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one. misses one and oh. The pitch. Out to short. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws. It's there, and that's a great play. Ready now for the fifth inning. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Mookie Betts. The lefty fires. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab, one away. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Shohei Otani up to the dish. 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Varsho gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that one ripped into right. And it gets by him. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull into second with two gone. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Muncy down the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Well, pretty clear to me. He's trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. So no runs here. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, these Blue Jays oh, just one. lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And now the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. Swung on, belted. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. All one's the count. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. This one in the air. Settles under it. Pulls it in to end the inning. Three up, three down. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The line to kick the pitch. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Throw to first, in time. Got him. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Little, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. 27 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Guerrero oh. takes it to the bag. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. At the play, Chris Taylor. Oh. And a foul ball. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Taylor races for second, and that's a two-bagger. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Next to hit, line drive, and that'll get down for a base hit. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's seven to two. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Line to left. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 7-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now here is Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Glass now back to work. Right through there for a strike. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. Three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed no, back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And the batter is George Springer. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. And the right hander deals. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Here's the 0 2. This to third. Muncie sends it to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's already homered here in this one. That's in there, and that's strike one. The Dodgers leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here comes the skipper. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Alex Vesia. He's into the game with the bases empty. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses, struck him out. Nothing doing for the blue. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Eric Swanson. He's pitching on two days' rest. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, these Dodgers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Shohei Otani, one for three. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Foul ball. And the 2 Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Varsho moving back for it. And it's off the top of the wall. Otani around second, headed for third. He's not stopping. On his way home. 
play it to play it, and he's out. He tried for the inside to Parker, and he couldn't make it. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. To the right side oh, and foul. foul ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Freeman hits it in the air on the move. Makes the catch inning over. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Towards first, and that's just foul. That's to third. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Man at first. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Justin Turner. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. And a foul ball. Next offering misses down and away. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And now two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. At the belt and fires. And there's that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. Third home run of the season, and they cut into the lead. It's 7-4. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and... All of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Now the left fielder. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That one misses, Damn. and that's ball one. Once bounce to the ground. Muncy. The throw to first. And there's two down. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Just off okay. the outside edge. Ball one. The Blue Jays trailing by three. Here the bottom of the seventh. Out to short. Rojas oh. with the throw to first. And that ends the inning. The Jays get a pair on this homer. It's now 7-4. Back after this on the show. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the... Jordan Romano. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right, 
Hard ground ball, base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think you'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Swing and a miss. Wow, no oh, fair right count. there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Outman ball. in the box here lets that one go for a ball. So now a pinch hitter, Andy Pajas. Good opportunity for him first and second with nobody out. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Rounded to third, could be two. Over to Connor Falefa. Out. And that's two. If you blink, you might miss it. And that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a try. And that one hops the wall. Oh, he throws it away. Now around second, going for third. In there, an RBI triple. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Base hit, and a run comes in. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Yeah, I can watch base hits like that one all day long. And so can every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now, Austin Barnes. In the first pitch, misses. Making a move for a bat off the bench. Will Smith. And he's a right handed bat, but he handles same side matchups pretty well, so should give him a good at bat right here. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. And that one is inside. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Base knock center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back-to-back -back singles. Pitch was on the out. Trevor Richards into the game. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Rojas, around third. One run is in. Now a relay to the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Forget it. His seventh home run of the season. It's 13-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot.
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So two away with nobody on. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. And now a two out opportunity for Max Muncie. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. Staying in the game on now, defense, Andy Poppins. He'll be out Will. center now after pinch hitting. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Joe Kelly. Power slider guy, Boog. He throws it hard. Water. Get water here. Gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Kirk at the plate now as he chases after that one. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark, but obviously out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters. Here's the second baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. On the ground to first, could be two. Rojas for one, and it's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Here's George Springer. Just oh, missed. Down. Swing and a tapper. He is safe, safe. and that was bang, bang at first. The two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line. Now on the bump, Evan Phillips. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And it's fouled away. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker as a hitter. You've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And that's down and away. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Smith gathers, throws, oh. and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the... Back now in Toronto. Toronto. We go to the ninth, and now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Ripped on a line to center. And there's one down. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. Pies. Now at the plate as he swings oh, for a strike one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. And that one lifted in the air center field. Varsho makes the play, and there's two away. Here's the left fielder, Chris Taylor. To the right side, Connor Falefa throws to first, and that is that. No runs. Bottom of the ninth, and now for the Jays, Bobichet. Pitch is in there, and that is strike one. Phillips throws what a lot of people consider to be a power sinker. Throws it with serious velocity, Outside, but it ball. moves a ton and it stays down. And a foul ball. And Boog, against a guy like this, 
you grab your backup bat out of the rack. You don't want to take your gamer up there because you know there's a good chance Three. it's coming back broken. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else. Anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. And kind of forget that a two-strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled, and you got to tip your cap. Turner, the next to hit, takes outside. That misses the zone. And the count is 2-0. and oh. What's the approach when you're facing a guy like this, Chris? Don't look down in the zone because you'll end up chasing something that's out of the strike zone. Make him elevate the pitch. Because he's not as effective at the top of the strike zone, you got a better chance of having success. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Most hitters dream of being able to hit breaking pitches as well as this guy. It takes great bat to ball. skills to be able to be as good as he is against the junk pitches he faces righty reliever out of the pen Ryan Brazier and you know bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intent intensity is a tight game so we'll see how sharp he is your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well swing and a miss and a oh, count is 0-2. Oh, Next one. offering misses. Going to count 1-2. and two. The Dodgers up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth Ooh. inning. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And first offering is fouled off. Brazier, 36 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2007. That one ball. missed. I got a ball, one break. This could end it. The Jays with a lot of ground to make up here at the last half of Damn. inning number nine. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. 13-4 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56.